Hi, I'm Dallin. I'm an IT trainer at GuideDoc Singapore. Today, I'll walk you through some of the built-in accessibility features found on iOS to aid persons with low vision. Firstly, I'll be sharing how to configure some of the screen display settings such as invert colors, high contrast, and adjusting of font size. Then, I'll explain some of the settings and shortcuts for ease of access. And finally, we'll cover the magnification tool called Zoom. To start off, let's go to settings. There are two different ways which you can locate settings. The first way is to locate it manually on your home screen. The second way to locate settings is to use this feature called Spotlight. Spotlight is a search feature that allows you to search up anything on your phone. Do note that if you decide to use this method, you must be familiar with the keyboard layout. To use Spotlight, ensure that you are on your home screen, then do a one finger swipe down, and the keyboard should appear. Type in the application that you want, in this case settings, and once you are done, press the go button. To make this simple, I'll go to settings manually. So now we are in settings, let's scroll down a little and locate display and brightness. In display and brightness, you can adjust the different themes, dark theme and light theme. You can adjust your text size. You can also adjust the different layouts, whether it's it zoom or default. And you can also perform many other things like adjusting of brightness. Notice that my phone is currently in dark theme. So in dark theme, you'll notice that the background is black in color and that the text is white in color. Now let's just switch it over to light theme and see the difference. So notice that now the background is white in color and the text is black in color. When you adjust these themes, it will affect all the native apps and some supported apps like WhatsApp. Let's just switch it back to dark theme for demonstration. Okay, now let's move on to look at the different display layouts that your phone can offer. So let's just scroll down from here, look for display zoom, tap on it. And over here you can see two different layouts, larger text and default. Notice that my phone is currently set to default. So in default, your icons are generally smaller, your texts are a little bit smaller as well. Let's click on larger text and see what happens. So just tap on it, then tap on set on the top right hand corner and then tap on Use Zoom. Notice you'll do a temporary restart and then your text will be a little bit larger. So if we go to our home screen, we can see that the icons are a little bit bigger than what it was. Okay, let's move on to explore other visual enhancement features which the phone can provide. To find these features, they are located at the accessibility settings of the settings app. We will have to now head back to the main page of settings. In this case, we have to locate the back button, which is at the top left hand corner right below the status bar. Press it one more time. And scroll down a little to look for accessibility. Over here, we can find various accessibility features to help aid different groups of persons with disabilities. Let's start off with looking at the display and text size section. Generally, this is the place where you can configure some of your vision enhancement features to further enhance your display settings to fit your vision needs. Tap on display and text size. On the very top, you'll see bold text. When you turn on this toggle, your text will be bolded and it may be easier for you to see as it will stand out more. So let's just turn on bold text and see how it looks like. To further increase the text size on your display, you can turn on larger text. 
You should turn on larger text if the max size on the display and brightness settings is not large enough for you. Okay, now let's tap on larger text. Over here, we can adjust the text size, but notice that my slider is already maximum and I still cannot really see the text very well. So to further increase the text size, we have to turn on the larger accessibility sizes toggle. When it's turned on, I can drag the slider further to the right. Another accessibility feature which I would like to bring to your attention is increased contrast. This could be found under the display and text size section in accessibility. So let's just scroll down. And if we turn on increased contrast, we notice that the text is sharper as it increases the contrast between the foreground and the background. In some applications where dark theme is not supported, we can use this feature called Invert Colors. This feature will help you turn a lighter background to a darker background and a darker text to a lighter text. This will work best with applications with a white background and dark text. Two different settings for invert color. Firstly, we will look at Smart Invert. You will indeed invert the color of the display, except for things like images, some media contents, and some apps with dark color styles. The second type is Classic Invert. Classic Invert will just invert the entire display. Today, for Smart Invert, we will use a website for demonstration. So this website has a white background, a black text, and an image. Now let's turn on Smart Invert. We can see that the color of the website has changed. We see the background to be dark in color, and the text to be light in color, and that the image has not changed. Now let's turn off Smart Invert and turn on Classic Invert. We can see that the whole entire display has been inverted in the sense where we see a light background and dark text. The next feature we'll be looking at is a magnification feature called Zoom. This feature helps you to magnify items on your screen. For this demonstration, I have set the text size back to default so that you can see the full effect of Zoom. In today's video, I'll cover the basic features of Zoom. To locate Zoom, go to Settings, Accessibility, and Zoom. Right beside the text called Zoom, you'll find a toggle, which can help you to turn it on and off. To turn it on, simply just tap on it. Notice that once it's on, your screen will immediately be magnified. To use Zoom, we're required to learn a few gestures. The first gesture we'll be covering is a three-finger double-tap gesture. This is a rapid gesture, which means you cannot stop between the gesture. Simply take three fingers and double-tap on the screen. Notice that I have zoomed out. If I repeat the gesture again, it will zoom in my magnification screen again. Three fingers, double-tap. Once your screen is magnified, to move the magnification window to review more information on your screen, simply take three finger, tap on the screen, and drag it around to review the information that you want. So I'll take three fingers, tap on the screen, and move around. I'm moving towards the left so that I can review information on the right. This is the other direction. Similarly, to review more information at the top part of the screen, we will take three fingers and tap on the screen and then move it downwards. To review information at the bottom part of the magnification window, we will take three fingers, tap on the screen and move it upwards. Finally, we will look at how to change the size of the magnification window. To do this, we will use a three finger double tap gesture, but instead of letting go, we will drag upwards to zoom in 
and drag downwards to zoom out. Take three fingers, double tap on the screen and drag upwards immediately to zoom in. And to zoom the magnification window back down, same thing, three fingers, double tap and drag downwards immediately. Lastly, we will take a look at how we can enable and disable some of the frequently used accessibility features with the use of a shortcut. To go to Accessibility Shortcut, we will go to Settings, Accessibility, and then Accessibility Shortcut. Over here, we can select some of the features that we want to be triggered by the shortcut. To activate the shortcut, simply press the side button three times rapidly. Notice that the only feature that has been selected is voiceover. So now if I were to trigger the shortcut, it will turn on voiceover. I'll press the side button three times rapidly. Voiceover on. Settings. Accessibility. Back button. So voiceover is now turned on. If I do the same, press the shortcut again, it will turn off voiceover. Voiceover off. Let's add another accessibility feature to the list of our shortcut. Let's select Classic Invert. Notice that there will be a tick right beside it. So now if I were to press the side button, press it three times rapidly, you'll notice a menu will pop up. Now if we want to activate the feature that we want, for example, Classic Invert, we just have to tap on it. Now to deactivate it, same thing, press the accessibility shortcut again, so three times rapidly on the side button. Notice the menu will pop up. Tap on the thing you want to deactivate, and you will deactivate. So we have looked at how to configure some of the visual enhancement features to fit your needs, explain some of the settings and shortcuts for ease of access. Finally, we have covered a tool called Zoom, which is a tool to magnify items on your screen. I hope you have found this video to be useful. Once again, I'm Dallin. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next time. If you would like to learn more about operating your phone, you can arrange an appointment with our IT trainers at Guide Dog Singapore by calling 6339-7900 or email us at it at guidedogs.org.sg.